you know, seafarers in general have been hit very hard by by the coronavirus uh, crisis all over the world. But seafarers in the cruise industry have perhaps been hit particularly hard. Um, so I wanted to tell you a little bit about what we are doing in order to try to um, mitigate this crisis uh, as best as we can. And we're also making sure, of course, that seafarers are paid in accordance with their collective bargaining agreements and also in accordance with their employment contracts uh, in this difficult time. We're also working to try to preserve jobs in the longer term so that you seafarers have a job to come back to once this crisis uh, or once this uh, situation normalizes. We're also receiving a lot of reports from seafarers that not only do they have to endure this difficult situation where they are maybe either at home waiting to board and not knowing when this is or they are still on the ship, not able to travel home. But on top of that, we receive reports from seafarers that they face enormous discrimination when they do return back home from their local communities. Uh, this is uh, really adds insult to injury and it's so unfair. Uh, most of these seafarers are very healthy. They come from ships with no cases of coronavirus at all. And the fact that they have to endure suspicion and discrimination when they come home, when they've been out there to support and provide for their families for months at end is uh, so unfair. And we encourage everyone to, uh, to speak up against such discrimination. I also would like to say to urge governments around the world to see the plight of these seafarers and allow them to travel home as soon as possible back to their families uh, so they don't have to live in this time of uncertainty for longer than necessary. Finally, I want to tell all you seafarers out there to, if you have questions, please contact your union. If you don't know exactly who to contact, then contact the ITF and they will uh, point you in the right direction. We're here to help you right now and uh, hopefully be able to provide the answers that you need in order to make these times a little bit less uncertain than they feel right now.